Shadows Over Paradise, Imran Khan's Fall from Grace in Pakistan's Corruption Saga Imran Khan, the charismatic cricketer-turned-politician who promised a new Pakistan free from corruption, now finds himself ensnared in its very web. His recent jailing, alongside his wife Bushra Bibi, on corruption charges, marks a dramatic turn in the saga that has gripped Pakistan's political landscape. But beyond the sensational headlines, lies a complex narrative woven with ambition, controversy and questions about justice and power in a young democracy. Khan's rise to power was electrifying. His populist message resonated with millions yearning for change. He vowed to dismantle the corrupt elite and usher in an era of transparency and accountability. However, his critics cast him as a puppet of the military establishment, his promises mere rhetoric masking deeper political machinations. The corruption charges against Khan stem from his time as Prime Minister, centered around allegations of receiving gifts from foreign dignitaries and selling them for personal gain. While Khan maintains his innocence, claiming political vendetta, the courts have ruled against him, sentencing him to 14 years in prison. This verdict, however, is not the end of the story. Khan's supporters remain fiercely loyal, viewing him as a victim of a rigged system. The political atmosphere in Pakistan remains volatile, with protests erupting in support of Khan and concerns about escalating tensions. Beyond the immediate political turmoil, Khan's downfall raises crucial questions. Does the verdict represent a genuine pursuit of justice, or a politically motivated witch hunt? Can Pakistan's young democracy truly break free from the clutches of corruption and powerful interests? What future awaits a nation seemingly divided between hope and disillusionment? Khan's fall from grace is a cautionary tale, highlighting the challenges and complexities of tackling corruption in a deeply entrenched system. While the verdict may offer a semblance of closure to some, the broader fight for a truly transparent and accountable Pakistan remains far from over.